uh, hello everyone uh, in this lecture I will tell you that how you can create uh, the discrete plot in MATLAB uh, I will show you the both the discrete and continuous plot and then you will decide it uh, how you can improve it, the quality and things like that first of all I will open a script and I will save it as a discrete plot D plot create so discrete let it define a variable uh, I'm going to define x as a variable from 0 1 0 1 to 10 and y is exponential of uh, no mm, y is 4 static x class mm, cause of x divided by x I will execute this I will terminate this instruction and then if I write stem um, x y is red sub plot two rows one column and the first plot is this one sub plot two rows one column and the second plot is this one plot uh, x y uh, blue I'll execute this code and I'm going to see this type of result. Uh, let me make it more clear. Now you can see that the first plot is a discrete plot and the second is a continuous plot. Due to realizing a few samples are missing, so things uh, show up to be very different. I'm going to increase the sampling rate and now you can see that both are somewhat look similar to each other uh, now I'm going to change it a little more I'm going to remove this and show you the signal now the signal look like this one I see the zero axis so whatever the signal is uh, you can represent it both in the discrete and continuous way you can write the x and y labels the titles and stuff like that then after that you can go to the plot tool you can change the color of the this uh, marker i'm going to change the size of the uh, marker you can see the color of the marker is now green and you can uh, change the color of the line you can increase the size of the marker you can decrease the size of the marker you can change the color of this line you can increase the width of this line and you can introduce some marker at this line I'm going to use some marker like this one or this one whatever you like you can uh, represent in some better way I'm going to include the legends I'm going to include the legends over here and I'm going to in include the X and the Y label you can write the X label as X axis and you can write a Y 
you can also write here the y axis and write here the x axis you can uh, change the size of the font can also change the size of the font in the second sub figure uh, you can do whatever you like so now it looks uh, quite good. you can also change the ticks at the x-axis and y-axis like I am uh, addressing to this uh, so you can introduce some more ticks like you can insert 3 3 now you can do whatever you like so it's up to you that how you want to represent your figure like uh, within this figure if I change the um, figure length from 10 to 15 and you can see that axis has changed from 10 to 15 you can do it right in the second figure also so you can change the quality improve the quality through plot tool and then you can export it with the high graphics uh, by using the rendering command you can include some more uh, resolution increase the resolution from here and apply it to the figure and then you save it as a PNG then you can save it as a PDF whatever you like but the quality of the figure will be best at that moment thank you so much